Good afternoon, guys. I hope everyone's had a good day today, whatever you're doing. Most of all, stay nice and safe. Today, or this afternoon more like, I have uploaded quite a few um, videos or uploaded a bit of content onto my channel. And um, I'm back in the game, basically. So I had a few days off, as you all know, because um, I suffer a little bit of depression and some days I'm up and some days I'm down, but I'm having a good day now. I'm, I'm, I've snapped myself out of it. I had two or three bad days, down days. What well, I won't say bad days, as you say, down days. Um, but yeah, today I feel much, 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 much better, guys. Let's turn and put this camera down a bit. Oh, that's better. That's much better. So yeah, um, I uploaded a video onto my channel earlier on about how my day went yesterday on my motorbike and. I'm making this video for questions and answers. All you guys that have commented underneath that video, I'm going to give you, be giving you guys a shout right now. So um, there's one guy called Pratt Tate. I know it's a good name, isn't it? Not Pat Tate, Pratt Tate. He's become one of my followers. Um, he's part of my journey because he, he comments all positive stuff underneath, underneath my videos and inspires me. And... Um, and that's what that's what it's all about, you know. Um, talking the truth, being honest, being open, and don't put no airs and graces on things, you know. And um, so how it is. So what Pratt Tate said was, Joey Barnett, if I had a hat, I would take it off for you. Seriously, well done for changing your life. Cheers, mate. Um, and on a reply to that, yeah, it took many years for me to be able to change my life and to turn my life around and to change my mindset. Um, many many years. I actually didn't knuckle down until I was in my like 40, maybe 42 or something like that, when I finally said enough was enough, I've had enough, I'm going to change my life for the better. And, um, you know, today I don't regret regret my past. Um, I actually learn from it and um, use it to inspire others not to follow my footsteps. So it's all about awareness for me. This is why I'm uploading content onto my channel. So thanks for that, um, Pratt Tate, mate. Cheers, keep them comments coming in, mate. Another one, uh, another comment from Ray, LUFC. He commented, he said, Hello, Joey, good luck with the book. Cheers, mate. I have read the first one. Oh, I haven't read the first one yet. I'll have to get a copy. What is it called? Um, could you make me a drink, please, babe? My first book is called A South London Bolster Boys Towers, mate. Um, it's on um, Amazon. I've also got copies indoors, what I'm sending out, signed copies. So I also put a little note in of your choice. Um, and a few people have bought them for presents for their missus and surprises and things like that. So cause it's always good to keep the old woman happy, isn't it? Let's get it right, guys. So, yeah, um, if you want that book, you can either get it on Amazon, Ray, or if you want to drop me a private message... Um, I'll arrange to get one sent out to next day delivery, mate. No problems whatsoever. And thank you very much indeed for following my journey and giving me such positive, positive feedback um, underneath my videos by commenting. That's what I need, man. More people like you, more people like us. Um, and the world would be a much better place, wouldn't it? Not mentioning the, the trolls because I try not to concentrate on them. I only concentrate on the positive people. Another one is Global Growing, commented. All right, Joey, I hope you're okay, brother. Thanks for keeping us up updated. And on the beard situation, bruv, I'm 40 years of age and I've got a grey grey beard. Probably from all the trouble and strife over the years. But keep... Sorry, I'm just opening it up on the, on the computer. Keep the beard, mate. Bless Cheers, mate. Yeah, I think it half suits me too. Um, actually, when I, I'm clean shaven, it makes me feel a little bit naive, a little bit naked, a little bit exposed. Maybe it's, it stems from the tattoo on the side of the face because I know by growing this, um, it takes away that horrible look of that. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, last time I grew it was last year. It was actually all coming through dark, like like a mousy colour but now it's coming through grey and people actually dye their hair grey nowadays because it's a fashion thing but I don't know about that do you know what I mean this is not through dyeing hair or anything like that I've got this 
let's just go through a few more Kemp comments here, guys. Creepy Lobster commented, Wonder what the screws who abused you in Ballstall, in Ballstall are up to now. They've probably gone pretty grey themselves. Let's hope they have, mate, because what they put us through in Ballstall today would be called child abuse. Physical child abuse, neither, not like mental child abuse, it was actually physical, they used to lay their hands on us and they used to give us right-handers and, you know, have, have laughs with each other um, about hitting us youngsters and, like, I was only 15 when I was in Ballstall and, like, the screws was in their 30s and 40s um, and giving some of the right hand at the age of 15 at that age is a liberty and nowadays you'd actually get arrested for it. So what happened with Ballstall was um, we got so brutalised and we got so physically beaten up by the uh, system and the screws that um, untold parents had put complaints in and complaints after complaints. And after a while, they actually abolished screws. They abolished, sorry, Ballstall before it got exposed and all the screws, what put us through that, got pulled out and like, got a case made against them and got arrested but that's what should have happened really um they should have been arrested and and um definitely tried for what they'd done to us do you know what i mean but yeah let's hope them screws what abused me years ago i i don't wish badness and and and, and any wrongdoing on anyone but i hope they're grey and um really nowadays how i look at it now is i feel a little bit sorry for them um so I I do forgive them, yeah, I do definitely forgive, forgive them, because of, um, nowadays, I, I feel sorry for people like that, I mean, how could an adult put a, a kid through that, you know, and, and attack a kid, you know, it just goes to show you what type of people they are, so because of, like, how they was, I feel sorry for them now, so I haven't got no bad feelings towards them, I certainly wouldn't help them out, and, um, I certainly wouldn't stop, stop for them, or anything like that, if I see them, you know, and talk to them, but cheers, Creepy Lobster, for, for them comments, mate. And great stuff, man. He comments positive stuff on my YouTube every single day. Uh, Creepy Lobster commented, we'll follow the rest of his life. It should be interesting. Yeah, cheers, mate. Um, and I will continue to upload content onto my YouTube channel too. Uh, I know the other day I had a bit of a down day and I said that I won't be uploading. No, well, I didn't say that, but... What was going round in my head, to be honest with you, is um, shall I just stop this? And, you know, because what's the point of it? Um, but that was the mindset what I was in. So the point of it is, is awareness um, is key for me. So this is why I'm putting stuff onto my YouTube for, for awareness um, and to inspire others, you know, because my story's so touching. Um, I don't know whether, whether my new followers on my YouTube channel are aware of my story from um, Sean Atwood of part one, but if you go back and check out the story, I'm being told like it's um, so emotional and sad and so good, it makes people laugh and it makes people cry, but it's the nitty gritty hard truth, um, I'd never ever lie, I actually can't stand lies, I was brought up that way and my mum and my dad brought me up that way. And, you know, they drummed it into me. Do you know what they used to say to me is, you're better off with a thief around you than a liar. Because with a thief, you wouldn't give him an opportunity to take anything with you. But when, someone, when someone's a liar, they're twisted, they make things up and they cause trouble. So I hate liars and um, I certainly don't like sugarcoating um, crimes and... Things like that, you know, um, I'm against all that. Uh, there's another comment from Drivel, commented, Boss, Joey, cheers, mate. Yeah, I do feel boss today, I, I must admit it. I'm not blowing my own trumpet, but I'm in a good mood, mate. Cheers for your comment, mate. Um, and he also, Drivel, also commented and said, Keep up the excellent, excellent work, please, Joey. Boss, much appreciated. Lovely lad, genuine diamond, onwards and upwards. That's so nice to see them that, them comments. And this is why I'm putting this content on right now as I'm talking to you now because of the feedback what you guys are giving me. So 
the more positive feedback I'm getting, the more, more, more inspiration it's giving me. It's, it's inspiring me to upload more onto my channel. This is uh, another follower, and he commented, and his name is Gerbutt. Gerbutt, G-E-R-B-U-T-T. -T. Gerbutt commented, I think you're doing a cracking job with the videos, buddy. I watched your one about Charlie earlier, where you said you taught yourself to read and write in prison. That rocks fair play. Yes, mate. Um, because like I, you know, when I was supposed to be in school, I was naughty, um, and also in Boston in detention centres, and um, I, you know, I, I wasn't into school, and the school that I did go, I got kicked out of quite a few schools, primary schools, every school that I went to. Um, if you go back on my videos, I've got quite a few videos on my education as a younger kid. But yeah, I got kicked out of more. Couldn't get my head down, and I certainly couldn't read and write. <clears throat> right up until really 2007 um, when I learned how to read and write and I was in HMP Wayland and um, I joined the education and yeah learned how to read and write there and, and then I took sitting guilds level one right up to level two and three in adult um, literacy so I've got learning skills listening skills talking skills reading and writing and I actually took sitting guilds in it and got a certificate for it. So, yeah, it's an amazing achievement um, for me for getting them certificates and doing that, considering I couldn't read them right before I went to prison. Now, I'm actually writing my own books, publishing my own books. I've done my first one, as you guys know, and I'm on, I'm on the second one now. So, yeah, yeah, um, I spun my life around. The last time I went to jail in 2007, I was, you know, I was a little bit older by then, um, and I made this sentence work for me and that's when I spun my life around and said right this is the last time I'll ever go to prison um, and I'm going to use this sentence to learn myself how to read and write because you know although you know if you can't read and write you can still get work out here and you can still get employment but it is harder to get employment, obviously, when you've got no CV and you can't read and write. Um, so there's not a lot of help out there for illiterate people. Um, so that's it was a big, big achievement for me. But yeah, ch cheers for your comment, Gerbert. Cracking, mate. Good stuff, mate. Keep them, keep them um, positive uh, comments coming, mate. And thank you for following my journey. So, guys, that's just a few comments. What I've just read out. I'm going to leave this here. But I'm happy to be back. I really am happy. My head's in such a good place now. And I'll be uploading much more content over the next coming few days. Stay safe. Take care. Be lucky. Peace.